Hello learners of class 12. Welcome to the wonderful world of English language classroom. Learners, in the first episode of the first lesson titled as the last lesson, we did reading, understanding of the text, then we also did some comprehension tasks based on the reading of the text in multiple choice question form. Then we did some vocabulary. Learners, in this episode, we will continue the first lesson. It appears in the textbook, noticing form and writing. Noticing form is what? What do we notice as form of a language? So, we will discuss that and we will do some activities in order to learn some grammatical forms, that is form. So, before we move on to the lesson, let me introduce our learner here. I am Meganathan from the Department of Education in Languages in CRT. With me is Devyani, a class 12 student and she will be working with you to do the activities. Devyani, how do you feel? I am feeling good. Okay. Oh, noticing form. What is noticing form? Uh, it's the text which appears in our so, notebooks. So that's 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 not the form. No, that's the text. That's so what do you notice as a as form in a text? Okay. Let me say, we are sitting here. So it's a text. We sit here to speak to the learners. It's also a text. But what is the form in that? I said we are sitting here first. Then we also said, I also said we sit here. So what is the difference between we are sitting and we sit here? It's the grammar difference. Oh yeah, that's what when we notice a form, actually we notice the grammatical function, the usage of it and how it is used. I said we are sitting here, then I said we sit here. So that's a difference. So we continue to sit here, then we sit here generally. So as a habit or regular activity. This, this is form. Let's not get into that for, uh, that now seriously. Uh, learners, we would like to refresh your memory of the last lesson, last episode of the lesson, uh, the story of the lesson, the last lesson. And we will be reading out, telling you the summary alternatively so that you recall the summary. Then we will move on to notice form, how the lesson uses past perfect in context. That is the form. Come on. Uh, Divyani, you may start, then we will continue the this one. Here is the subtext of the story, the last lesson. The narrator of the story, Franz started for school very late on that day. He was worried because their French teacher, Mr. Hamill, would question the class on participles. As he passed the town hall, he saw a crowd in front of the bulletin board. Last two years, he noticed lot of bulletins as France was losing the war against the Germans. On seeing France moving fast, someone told him not to hurry as there was plenty of time. As he reached the school, he noticed an uneasy calm instead of the general usual bustle of closing desk lessons repetitions. He opened the class door expecting Mr. Hamill to scold him. But he politely told him to go to his place. Franz also noticed some strange behaviors and saw village elders were sitting on the back bench. The teacher, Mr. Hamel, wore his beautiful green coat, frilled shirt and silk cap, which he generally wore on special occasions on inspection day and Sundays. Everybody looked sad. Hamel told them that it was the last lesson, they should be attentive. Franz realized that the bulletin in the town hall was on this only. Though Franz was not serious about learning French in Mr. Hamel's class, he now felt sad and was shocked as the Germans would take over. The teacher Hamel told Franz that he won't scold him anymore. Mr. Hamel taught them grammar, writing, then some chanting practices for learning pronunciation. Ba, be, bi, bo, bu. The village elders who sat on the back started crying on seeing Mr. Hamel's emotion. Then the church clock struck 12, followed by the trumpets of Prussian who were returning from drills. 
Hamel now wrote on the blackboard, Vive la France, and said, School is dismissed, you may go. Vive la France, long live France. Devyani, thank you for that good reading of the summary. Uh, learners, that was the summary of the lesson, the last lesson. So, we understood the effect of how someone losing his or her language in his own territory, in his own country. It is a fa fa very sad thing, you know, very bad thing. Uh, there are many, many, many countries of the world, many communities of the world, they feel the same event today. So, learners, uh, let me take you to the next level that today's lesson is noticing form, that is past perfect form. Before uh, we move on to discuss and learn the past perfect form, let me read out the objectives of the lesson, Divyani and learners, at the end of this lesson, we will be able to understand time and tense, use past and past perfect tenses in context. Having used in natural language, real life situations, we will discover the forms, past tense and past perfect forms and use them in speech and writing appropriately. Learners, these are our objectives. We will learn to use past and past perfect tense in context and discover the forms. Divyani, this is what the book has. So, let us illustrate from a sentence which is there in the textbook. Okay. Here is the sentence. Mr. Hamill had said that she would question us on participles. Mr. Hamel had said he would question us on participles. So, Divyani, the writer did not say Mr. Hamel said he would question us on participles. He has, he has, the writer has meant, write, written said Mr. Hamel had said he would question us on past participles. Why is because it? Because it is in the past. So it's but yeah. I'm say, so okay it's in the past fine but say instead of said why had said okay don't worry that's what we are going to learn today then l let me read the sentence again learners Mr Hamel had said that he would question there are two actions in the past he had said something and then he, he uh, yeah and he said he would question so he would question and he had said okay there are two actions just remember that. Okay, before we move on to that, come on, let me ask you to notice some sentences, read and notice some forms in the sentences. Come on, Devyani will read out, listen to her and you also read it on the screen and notice the form there, the, 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 the words in bold, just notice it. We will come back to listen to that. Devyani, go ahead. I got up at 7 a.m. yesterday. I went for morning walk for about 40 minutes yesterday. I went to the market to buy some vegetables. I read the newspaper for some time. I talked to my brother in the evening at about 6.30 p.m. I wanted to visit my friend but could not as I was busy with my work. Last week, I told my friends that I would visit them. Last year, I visited Mumbai. It was a great experience. I was the captain of our school hockey team when I was in class 9th. I lived in Bangalore during 2002-2004. Okay, fine, fine. Thank you, Devayani. Learners, notice the verbs there. I got up, I went, I went, I read, I talked to my brother, I wanted to. Last week, I told my friend, last year, I visited Mumbai, I was the captain and I lived in Bangalore. Okay, when did the action take place in all this? It's uh, in the past. In the past. And he wanted to and yeah, it's all, all in the all past. All in the past. Yeah. Learners, this is past tense, we know very well. Last evening, yesterday, last minute. Last year, centuries ago, we use past tense. Fine. This is we we we, yes. we know we know very well. Come on, let me test you uh, with some activities uh, which appear on your screen, and Devyani will 
respond to my questions there there, there will be three options for each uh, sentence you will have to pick up the correct one okay and uh, let me tell you all of them are in past tense my teacher ask asks or asked us to complete the work yesterday my teacher asked us to complete the work yesterday fine my sister go goes went to play the whole evening yesterday my sister went to play the whole evening yesterday fine we play we plays we played cricket against our neighborhood school last week we played cricket against our neighborhood school last week okay we defeat we defeats we defeated them with a huge difference we defeated them with huge difference where where or where are you in the morning today where were you in the morning today fine how old were you or how old are you when you were or when you are in class 2 how old were you when you were in class 2 i write i wrote the examination last month i wrote the examination last month my brother who get who gets who got the first rank is now studying in the university my brother who got the first rank is now studying the university fine we did not have we do not have so many social media 20 years ago as we have many today we did not have so many social media 20 years ago as we have many my father study studied studies in a village school and goes go went to the best university later my father studied in a village school and went to the best university later fine thank you devyani for the good reading really? learners uh, you must have noticed the past tense form yesterday last week in the morning the actions which took place in the past we simply say in past tense that's what uh, my father went to the uh, university he got first rank we played against we defeated uh, the neighborhood school fine now i'm also going to show you something to notice something else the, this action also has taken place in the past come on learners we have seen past tense now we will be seeing past perfect tense come on let me request again devyani to read the four five sentences which are with you on the screen come on our teacher had told us to submit assignment but he forgot it rahul met his friend at the station as he had promised sunita had finished her work and went to play when i reached the station the train had already left i finished the work the teacher had already left he wrote answer to the question the bell had already rung the police officer saw them violating the traffic before they had reached the point i had promised to help her but i could not do it when gandhi ji had called for action the people of this country supported him fine we have seen some sentences in which there are two actions in the past divyani let me ask you the first sentence our teacher had told us to submit assignments but he forgot it teacher asked something and we didn't he forgot it there are two actions yes. so teacher had told us to submit the assignments he forgot it so which one he did first he had told us to so if there are two actions in the past we generally use for the first action past perfect and the second action past so let me read out learners whatever uh, devyani has read out you please notice the words in bold our teacher had told us to submit the assignments but he forgot it rahul met his friend at the station as he had promised sunita had finished her work and went to play when i reached the station the train had already left 
when I finished the work, the teacher had already left. He wrote, answer to the last question, the bell had already rung. The police saw them violating the traffic rules before they had reached the point. I had promised to help her, but I could not. When Gandhiji had called for action, the people of this country supported him. Come on learners, look at the past perfect and past tense. Had plus third form of the verb, had told, had promised, had finished, had left, had left, had reached, had promised, had called. Also notice the past form used in the sentences. Diviani, I am going to throw at you somewhat, somewhat serious, difficult challenge. Okay. So, let, let, let's test your uh, grammatical skills, what we have learned from whatever we have discussed. Otherwise, also last 11 years of learning English language. And learners, come on, check your this one. Here, here are some tasks for you where you will have to use past as well as past perfect. So, remember the first action past perfect, second later action past. past. Okay. Sentence 1, the school assembly become, became or had become quite well before the headmaster reached or had reached. Come on, make out. The school assembly had become quite well before the headmaster reached. Fine, well done, well done. So, you were able to make out the first action in past perfect, second action in past. When I reach, reached, had reached the station, the train had arrived, arrived or arrived. When I reached the station, the train had arrived. Fine. The train had already arrived, then you reached it. Yes. Fine. Then, when I see, when I saw or had seen him, he moves, moved or had moved out of the hotel. Uh, when I saw him, he had moved out of the hotel. Fine. As you saw him, he had already moved. Fine. Very good. Then I noticed, noticed, had noticed the difference before they tell, they told or they had told me. I had noticed the difference before they told me. Fine. So, you, you are able to see it before they tell you. Yes. Fine. Fine. All right. Next sentence. When I enter, I entered, had entered the house, my brother goes, went, had gone to play. When I entered the house, my brother had gone to play. Fine. The last one, when our captain asked, asked or had asked us to exercise, many of us started, had started or start doing it. Come on. When our captain asked the team to exercise, many of us had started doing it. Fine. All right. They knew that he would be asking. Come on, learners. There are two actions in the past. The first action we use past perfect. past perfect. The second action we use past. past. The classic example we always give is when I reached the station, the train had already left. When I went to the school, the bell had already rang. Yeah. When I reached the school. So, learners, this you need to notice in form as it appears on the screen. He had told me beforehand. You may ask a question, can I use past perfect only in a sentence? So, here are some examples for you. He had told me beforehand, means before something else happened. Yes. It had happened before I joined. So, there are two, two ways we can say. So, an action which was, which will be followed by an action in the past, we will do that. It appears on your uh, screen with an example. When I reached the station, the train had already left. Learners, notice it, which is the first action, which one is the later action. For the earlier action, we use past perfect, the later action we use past. So, learners, read the lesson again. You will notice the use of past perfect. Mr. Hamel had asked us. I had noticed lot of bulletins being displayed. So, this was followed by another action. Learners, this is how you will use past perfect in context. Let me give you a task today when you go back, not now, 
when you go back home, learners at home or in school, take up your newspaper, read a paragraph or an article or news item, try to underline past tense and past perfect tense and notice it how and why they have used. Learners, we have come to the end of this lesson. Let me tell you something about learning grammar. Let me also make it very clear, grammar book will not teach you grammar. It is the other means you read, listen to, use language, then go to the grammar book. And that is what we, we nowadays have a lot of workbooks, a lot of activities. This book has a lot of activities under its QR code. You can see it in the book and when you decode the QR code, a lot of additional activities, one of them is past perfect, this particular thing, noticing form. So, but why we are saying it form? Because there is something called meaning. So, when I say we are sitting here, we are doing this lesson, you actually feel the meaning that, oh, something is happening. So, I'm, we are, you are not noticing it, uh, it is we are doing is present continuous, that is noticing the form. So, when we learn a language, this has, this two have to come together, then your language use is fine effective. Let me stop it there. Thank you Devayani. Thank you learners for this lesson having participated actively and we hope that you have learnt past perfect and past tense well. So, we will see you in the next episode. Till then, thank you very much. Keep yourself in good spirits and be safe. Thank you.